The Quantum Flagship asked me to give you a general overview of quantum physics. General overview. <laughs> Good luck with that. So, basically, 100 years ago, Europe's physicists all got together in Brussels for a no-holds-barred battle royal. For years on end, they exchanged punches, that is, theories and principles to work out if the world of the infinitely small obeyed the same rules as that of the infinitely large. Breaking news! Not in the slightest. The first revolution in quantum physics was born. From that point on, a whole bunch of quantum physics laws were discovered, like the superposition of quantum states, quantum entanglement, or even Heisenberg's uncertainty theory. <laughs> Very funny, Jack. I'm talking about the physicist, of course, not the chemist. <clears throat> yes, sir? That's all well and good, but what does all that change, really? I'm so glad you asked. Knowing how particles, atoms and molecules behave, that changes everything. Without quantum physics, the world as we know it would be a very different place. Without quantum clocks, you can say bye-bye to your GPS precision. Turn right. Oh, no left. Ah, right actually. Ouch. And I'm not even talking about medicine. MRIs would be much less efficient without their quantum components. Same for LEDs. And let's not forget the transistor, the unsung hero behind our printed circuits. You have to admit, smaller is better. Without quantum physics, no lasers. Like this one, but especially the laser that helped to create fibre optics. And without fibre, I think we all agree that would be a shame. Quantum physics is all around us and it still has so much more to offer in the future. To uncover its hidden secrets, we need to invest and work together in Europe. But that's a subject for the next episode. <laughs>